Welcome back Super Nintendo Collectors, Alex here with another video, my first video of 2018, well my SNES video of 2018, you've already seen the other two. Um, it's great to be back doing this uh, collection videos for the best system in the world, without a doubt, don't care what anybody says, so many fantastic games. And um, it, it's great to be back here showcasing all my latest pickups and doing some gameplays and hopefully interacting with you guys because I want to know from you guys what games I need to pick up because I've got well over 150 games now, some really cool games. Um, still got a long way to go. A long way to go? What, for a complete collection? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Let's not. Let's go for it, guys. Let's go for it. It may take me 15, 20 years to get a complete collection, but um, I'm not going to stop collecting. So I might as well have a goal at the end of it, even though I'm never going to get there, you know. Um, but it's going to be fun doing it. I think I'm not obviously going to pick up all the boxed uh, games. It'll have to be some loose thrown in. In fact, probably two thirds are going to have to be loose. I haven't got the space to collect a complete all the money. Uh, for a complete box Super Nintendo collection, but I've got some big hitters already. You know, I've got my Pocky Rocky 2, I've got Wild Guns, I've got some, you know, some expensive games out of the way, but there's plenty more to come. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I just have to put a bit more weekend work in, you know, to get them. But I'm going to have a lot of fun doing this, and there's so many games now that I've I've never played or seen before, and it's interesting picking these up, to be honest with you. I've got all the ones I had back in the day, and now I'm just finding it fun and interesting playing all these games that I've never seen before, you know? And half the fun is actually hunting them down as well, you know? It's not the same as it used to be. I'm not gonna find these at the car boots, but to be honest with you, I never found these American games at the car boots anyway. I think I'm gonna have to go to a lot more markets. I'm gonna have to get on the more Facebook groups and just really just hunt it down, you know? which I will do. So hopefully, if I can double the size of my collection by the end of this year, that would be really cool. If I can hit 300 games this year, that would be absolutely fantastic. So I want you guys to join me on this journey, collecting for this awesome system. And I want your opinions on these games as well. And obviously I want you to recommend me some cool games because guys, there's just so many I haven't played. So, um, Without further ado, because I want to keep these videos fairly short, not as long as they used to be, and just get straight into it. Um, so before we get onto the games, I just want to mention uh, my good friend Roger, who picked up this fantastic Japanese Super Famicom Mini, which I've been after for ages. It's great because it's got four or five games on here that are not on the other uh, consoles. It's got Street Fighter, the new Challengers, Fire Emblem, that's going to be a bit difficult to play, uh, Go Man, uh, Go Man Mi Mystical Ninja, which is a fantastic game, I've got that already, boxed, it's got a football, it's got soccer on here, why has it got soccer on here, I didn't know the Japanese liked soccer, that is really odd, I know they got into soccer, football, after sort of David Beckham era, but I didn't know they were into it sort of back in 91, that is a weird choice, um, there's some other Tetris of Puru Puru game on here I've, I've never heard of but cool man this is so cool because do you know what I'm gonna display this with the console and my Japanese new 3DS in my cabinet eventually when I get one with the other ones because I've got all three now I've got the PAL and I've got the American which is cool so I'm just gonna hoover all of this up this year guys anything related with the Super Nintendo I'm gonna hoover up but it's great to get all of this. All I need is the uh, the PAL new 3DS because I've got the, the Jap and I've got the American, so I just need the PAL now, and that, that'll make for a nice little display collection over there. So that was really cool. Roger, thanks for picking it up for us. He did get paid, of course. Roger always gets paid. He never let that one go, <laughs> will you, mate? <laughs> but yeah, it's cool to get. Really, really cool. Really pleased with that. So guys, moving on to the game. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna showcase three games here. 
Um, never played this game before. It was recommended to get this. Um, this is actually like a spiritual successor to uh, the arcade game Silkworm, if you've ever played that. It's called Firepower 2000, aka Swiv on the power regions. It is a excellent uh, uh, vertical shoot 'em up where you get to choose between a Jeep with a massive firepower arsenal of weapons at his disposal and you get to choose between a helicopter which is cool or you could play two players and one can play the helicopter and you could play the jeep which is great if you've got a friend that would come around and play super nintendo games with you there's not many of them about but yeah that is cool um so we're going to stick this on now and just see what it's like guys check this out Right, here it is, guys. Firepower 2000 or Swiv. Oh, I do dig this opening music. It's so cool. Listen to that. It's got a nice 80s synth sound, dirty synth sound, which I quite like. It's really cool. Um, <clears throat> very Japanese in feel as well, even though it's a UK developer. It's just got a nice feel about it. Right, I've pressed select. You've got to be careful. Sorry, I pressed start. I should have pressed select, really. So I'm starting off with a Jeep. And you can, the first thing you notice, which is really cool, is you can fire, fire in multiple directions, which is really good. And if you hold down the fire button like that, you can go left to right and still fire upwards which is a really cool effect it took me a while to figure that out but i really do like that so you can sort of strafe across left from left to right or if you just repeatedly press the button then you can you can fire in the direction that you're going i actually prefer to strafe across like that i think that's really cool um, another nice effect of this game are the shadow effects of the planes. Can you see them down here? That's a really nice, gives it a bit of depth, a bit of 3D depth, but you don't see in a lot of shoot em ups. And you've also got a jump, so you can actually jump over obstacles on the ground. And you've got a choice of these bullets and flame. All these sort of rocket rocket things, whatever they are, they're quite cool. It's starting to get difficult already. And I always find playing games while talking very difficult. Nice sound effects. The background music's not too overbearing. See, that's a power up there. I think that destroys everything on screen. Let's go for it. Yeah, it does. That was nice. Ooh. couple of homing missiles coming on me. I'm going to kick some butt in here guys. <laughs> I'm all fired up, powered up. I wonder if the flame, flame's actually more powerful, it seems to be, but it's obviously the range of it's not so far. Be good to play this two player actually. So one of you use the tank and one of you use the helicopter. That would be really cool. We're in the sand dunes now, nice effect here. See, so yeah, overall it's a really good shoot em up. I could get really into this. Who said the SNES doesn't have good shoot em ups? You know, this is this is brilliant. <laughs> I really like this. Depends how long, I guess, the levels are and how how easy the end of level bosses are as well. It'd be cool to see one of those. What is that? Is that a power up? Oof. The graphics look silky smooth. They really do. There you go. I'm dead. How many more lives have I got? I should try a special. Have I got a special? Oh yeah, that's my special. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
homing missiles in every direction. Let's get that. Oh, nice risk reward element there. Gives you with the power ups. You get a bit greedy. Well, there you go, guys. I'm pretty crap, but you know, I'm just showing you a little bit, a little bit of a taster of the game. I think it's pretty cool. On to the next one, anyway, guys. Well, that's Swift guys or Firepower 2000. I thought it was really cool and haven't played a little bit more of it. Got to the end of level boss and it took ages to kill and was a little bit static. Didn't really do much the end of level boss. Um, that was my only gripe with the game, but otherwise I thought it was a pretty slick shoot 'em up on the Super Nintendo. Interesting to see that Super Play in issue number six gave it 82%, uh, which is a really good score. And, and overall, thought the game was really good as well. And they actually said it was one of the best shoot 'em ups on the Super Nintendo. And um, so far, I'd go along with that. But then I haven't really played that much of Axlay yet. And there's still a few other games that um, I need to get for the system before I can really put it in my top five shoot 'em ups for the system. But really enjoyed it. Really like the sound and the effects. Love that dirty synth sound. And um, I really like the, uh, the shadow effects on the ground from all the uh, the sprites that were going on. Really cool game, I totally recommend picking that up guys. Right, next up is Gun Force. Um, now this is an interesting game, this is actually an arcade game as well, but Gun Force 2 in the arcade is the one to play, not this version. Um, I've played a little bit of it and it's got, I don't know, it hasn't got slow down. It doesn't just slow down when there's too many sprites on screen. It's just generally slow game. It's just a slow paced game, which is a real shame because this could have been really, really good. It's by iRem as well, which makes some fantastic games like R-Type and In The Hunt. Um, and, you know, it looks great, but it's just so slow paced. So... Let's check this out, guys, and you'll see for yourself what it's like. It's really slow, unfortunately. Gunforce, Battlefire Engulfed, Terror Island. IRM. Well, they make some good games, IRM. Let's just see if this is any good, shall we? Sounds promising. So I'm being dropped off in a parachute on the island, Rambo styley. And straight away I've noticed he's got moon boots on because he's floating around like he's on the moon. What is going on there? <laughs> oh dear. Right, so I can, it's like Contra basically, it's a run and gun game. You can shoot up and directional left and right, upwards. Ah, oh, jeez. Right, come on, guys. Can I get that up there? You can jump quite high. He's got his moon boots on, so he must be able to jump anywhere. Total different feel than Contra, even though it's a very similar game. The weird thing about this is I can actually run through the enemies without getting hurt. <laughs> that is weird. You wouldn't be able to do that in Contra. Uh, you can get into vehicles like you can in Contra and you can run them over, which is good. We always like that. Let's blow the helicopter up. Nice bit of mode seven. Music's a bit mediocre. But you can see the pace of the game is just so much slower than Contra. And it, the music just doesn't build up at all like Contra does. You don't get a sense of kind of, you know, something building up like an enemy bo uh, end of level boss. There's no build up. All right, now I'm in the helicopter. That's quite cool. So can I move it up and down? And all I'm doing is, sh I'm controlling the helicopter. Oh, I can, I can move it up and down. So I'm controlling the helicopter. I can land on the heads, not quite. That basically stops there. It's as low as I can go. 
That's quite a big sprite actually to move around on the screen. I mean, graphically, it's not bad. I think I'm about to blow up. Should I get off this helicopter? I think I should, shouldn't I? Is it going to blow up? I want to see the helicopter blow up. It's not going to do it, is it? Okay. It does move a little bit faster in places. Obviously, when there's more sprites on the screen, is that slow down, but... Nice bit of mode 7 going on with the sprites. The parallax is in, parallax scrolling is quite good. So we've got we've got this end of level boss now which is just basically a structure with green lights on it. <laughs> oh come on. I've done it. That was that easy. What do you reckon? Ah, mission one complete. Let's see a little bit of the next level and then we'll move on to the next game, guys. But there you get it. the gist of it. Scenery looks pretty much the same. It is odd that you can just walk through the enemies like that. That's it, guys. That's the end of the first level. Start the second. I think you've seen enough of that. So what did you make of Gun Force, guys? It's a shame, isn't it? Could have been so much more. Could have been a really cool run and gun game like uh, Contra. But unfortunately, it suffered from really bad slowdown. Really lackluster sort of end of, end of level boss. Um, and the vehicles in this game were just totally pointless, I thought. Um, what was the point of getting into this helicopter and having hold of this mini gun for it just to go pop, 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 you know, and not do anything more than you, you, the gun that you've got on you? You know, if you're going to get in a helicopter like this and you're going to get hold of a big uh, machine gun like that, you want it, you want to feel empowered, you know what I mean, guys? You want it, you want it, the, the noises to amp up, the sound effects to amp up, and you want to feel powerful. Just obliterating everything, getting you know satisfaction out of killing everything, but there was none of that. It was just well, what's the point of this? And it just went up and down and left and right, and that was it. And the same for the jeeps as well. It was just pointless getting in them. You know, when you play sort of games like Metal Slug, you feel it, you know excited to get in them because they do something different. You know, it's so, they're just so cool in that game. But in this, it's just pointless, really. Um, no point in having them in there. But graphically it looked good, music was mediocre, it's just a mediocre game, did nothing new, nothing special, nothing exciting, and it's a shame because Gun Force 2 is really, really cool, and it's a shame it could have, it, this could have been good, there's no reason why it couldn't have been. Uh, and the whole pace of the game was just far too slow, I mean, I don't know what that was all about, just jumping up really high, just stupid. But anyway, it's one to add to the collection. I'm going to go back and play a little bit more and see if uh, any more of the end of level bosses in, are an improvement on the game. So yeah, so if you're worried about my hair at the moment, it's sticking up. Not because I've seen a ghost, because I've just got out of bed. <laughs> and I thought I'd just do a video. So here we are. 7 o'clock in the morning I'm doing this, guys. Just for you. Right, next up is Nightmare Busters. I've been after this game for ages. Um, this is a game I pre-ordered about a year ago. It's a game that was never released. Um, I think it was by a French company. And this team, the Super Fighter team, got hold of it, finished the game, and produced this amazing package. Beautiful box art. Look at that, guys, with some lovely screenshots on the back. It really is a fantastic package um, with a lovely manual, instruction manual, and the cart, which is a bit of a shock, really. I thought this was going to be an American cart. But it's a Japanese cart in American style, if you know what I mean. Very odd, but still cool. Don't, don't mind that. Um, and the instruction manual is really well presented. It's got a lovely uh, intro and story, backstory of the game. So basically, you're in a dream. You're in a child's dream. And this tyrant has invaded this child's dream. And you take control of one of these leprechauns. They're brothers, basically. And you've got to rid his mind of this tyrant 
um, who creates all these mythical creatures like trolls and stuff that you've got to defeat in the game. With your Hanafuda cards, you've got these cards that you flick that are really sharp and that you can power up, which is quite cool. And they've all got different power ups, whatever you pick up. See them there? Um, loads of things to pick up. You pick up the dice. If you pick up a hundred of them, you get an extra life. And you've got special magic attacks as well. You've got like a whirlwind, some sort of a power disc, an atomic bomb, special powers. And um, there's all the pictures of the enemies. I really like the way they presented this game. They really did go to town. I really do feel like I've got a package here. It's really well worth it. And it, the game looks amazing, guys. It is amazing. These are some of the end of level bosses which look fantastic. So we're going to play a bit of this, guys. It is really hard, but you can put a code in at the beginning of the game, which is really helpful. So you can have an auto file, which is what I'll be playing on. And you can actually pick what level you want to start at and what end of level boss you want to play. So it's a really good game. I do recommend actually playing two player. Me and Isabella had a little game of it two player. She actually enjoyed it, even though we were dying all the time. It is hard, but it is a lot of fun. So check this out, guys. Right, so here we go, guys. We're going to start off at the end of level one, the village boss. Because um, actually, level one's quite hard. I just thought I'd show you the end of this level. It's really cool. It's quite easy, the first boss, actually. But the first thing you'll notice is the graphics. The sprite animation in this game is incredible. It really is. Absolutely beautiful. So I've got it on turbo. You've got jump. You've got dash or... Oh, I did, that didn't work. I'm going to do an atomic bomb. And again. Slip underneath him. Fire my cards. Slip underneath him. Back. He's done. He's dead. Quite easy, that first one. <clears throat> Good to get him out of the way. Pick up all the dice for extra lives. So this is beginning of level two now. Love the music. Just look at the colours in the game, guys. Just so much colour. So I can jump up. Bust open the treasure box. Got to watch from behind you. They do creep up behind you. Just shoot upwards. do die a lot in this game, I warn you. It's not easy. You've got to be a little bit tactical. I love the, the these kind of parallax scrolling with the trees in the foreground. It gives a nice sense of depth. I'm going to blow him up. I'm not having a little Scottish dwarf get me. <laughs> oh, come on. So I've got firepower now, which is cool. Oh, 
just get totally engrossed in this game. It's just so beautiful to play in. Right, what's happening now? End the level boss? Right, okay. Let's give it some discs. And again, is that enough? Got him. That's not the end of level boss though, it's just like a mid boss. Totally engrossed in this game, guys. It's so cool. And as I'm not commentating much because I'm just enjoying playing this game. It's just so cool. Well, what we got here? Ah. Oh. Well, I've got to jump on this. Oh, what you got to do is jump and then jump back down again really quickly. He's dead now, anyway. Oh, I don't like that. Ugh. For the other weapon. It's quite good that you can shoot behind. What have we got now? Ugh, I'm getting killed by Ivy. Forty-two dominoes now. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like that. This fire, it's rubbish. What have we got now? In the level boss, guys. We do this. It's the werewolf. Look at this werewolf. The sprite animation is amazing. Quite difficult, this one. And I haven't got many power-ups. Let's get that. Oh. do me guys that's it he's done me there you get a good gist of the game anyway pretty cool gotta get hold of this game guys nightmare busters absolutely love this game totally engrossed in it so much more to discover i've got to go back and do all the other levels it's that good really enjoyed it end of level bosses are good as well they're all different um yeah it's just an overall fantastic game so i don't know what did you think i thought it was brilliant <laughs> i really do so if you want to get hold of this, and you should get hold of this, you need to get hold of the Super Fighter team. I think they've got their own website. We can go on there and you can buy this. Might take a while uh, for you to, to get the copy. It took me a year. <laughs> but I think they've done a whole load of them now. Whether they've got any left or not, I don't know. But I've seen a few on eBay. So just go on there and pick one up. They're not that dear, to be honest with you. But it is a really cool game. Nightmare Busters. 
Gunforce, mediocre game. I will go back and revisit it just to see the end of level bosses. It's a nice Sunday afternoon game when you come back from the pub and just sort of something really easy to, to play. Nothing too taxing. It's okay, you know, nothing special. But Firepower 2000, that's a heart stomper. That really gets your heart going. It's uh, And that's what uh, shoot 'em up should do. You know, it's just a really cool vertical shooter for Super Nintendo. Really tough to get that. So that's it for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing these videos. And hopefully I'll get one out midweek uh, next week. So until then, thanks for watching. Thanks for all my new subs. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.